Alright, so I'm gonna be really, really real for a minute. 40 day challenge, 40 day test. For men, women can participate too. Um, this is this is this is not just a 40 day test. Oh, this is a a, 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 <laughs> a a lifelong thing. But you know, some people can't go, you know, a couple days without sex. That's an addiction, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So here it is, you know what I'm saying? Um Whatever you struggle with, you know what I'm saying? Whatever is your biggest downfall, the biggest thing hindering your relationship and walk with Jesus. Um, I'm going to give it to you. If we walk, I'm sorry, if we work on our relationships with Christ, everything else will fall into place. People don't know that. Okay, so 40 days. No fornication, no sexual immorality, drunkenness, disagreements, orgies, selfishness, envying, hatred, jealousy. Fits of rage, ang anger, and it goes on. All right. Um, now, when I'm talking about like disagreements and stuff like that, like I mean, it's it's everything, of course. But I'm talking about like especially like in your relationship. You know, if you're in, if you're in a relationship with uh with someone, you know what I'm saying. Um, I just you know kind of heard over the radio that I I've heard it before, but you know, 50% of marriages don't work. You know the the divorce rate is like it's like 50 percent so um i mean this is this is real serious and um um so i'm gonna go on let's concentrate on the full armor of god and the fruits of the spirit to me that's right now that's two of my most um most important things that i'm going about on the bible with because in galatians 5 uh 13 through 26 it tells you that you know, if, if you if you do all of these things, it, it, it states bad things and then it states good things. Some of them I just named, and and, the, and you do these if you do these good things, because these bad things will not allow you to get into the kingdom of heaven. So, basically, you, I mean, people out here and we do it a lot. People do it a lot. This world, I mean, one of the world's biggest things is sex, drugs. You know what I'm saying? Money. Not they don't talk to God. Just think about how many times you text your girl a day, or how many times you talk to a homeboy or whatever. We don't talk to people. Don't talk to God that much, but we can talk to our other people, or our friends and homeboys and stuff that much. God wants this same kind of uh, this same kind of attention and more. He should be your number one, your ace. Anyways, let's concentrate on the full arm of God, the fruits of the Spirit. Galatians 5, uh, 13 through 26, and Ephesians 16 through 18. That's the full arm of God. Um, the whole point is, what it all boils down to, is when you get to this to that 40 days, add 40 more days to it. So you now have 80 days. Continue. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't just do 40 days and say, oh, okay, well, I did that. I'm going to go mess up. The thing I'm trying to point out is most people cannot go 40 days. The reason I talk about 40 days, of course, is because Jesus did a whole lot of things in the Bible in 40 days. It was a difficult task. So, there's some people that don't have problems with this. You have uh, more women that don't have problems with struggling with sex. It's the men, normally. Not saying that they don't, though. It's normally the men, but women struggle with other things. All right. So the Bible talks about, I mean, it talks about lying and all kind of stuff. But um, that's a different scripture. Um, okay, okay. I'm going to read this Galatians real quick. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery. Idolatry, that's said that idolatry, idol, yeah, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Drunkenness, I see that every day. Selfish ambition, being selfish, envy, one, one what, what, what somebody else has. Orgies, I, see, I hear about that. I mean, you see it all the time. Jealousy, 
fits of rage, anger, um, hatred, discord. I mean, look up these words. I've, I've looked them up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, just before I kind of explained them to you. Um, people think that they don't fall into these categories. Oh, witchcraft. I don't do witchcraft. Look it up. Look it up and find out exactly what witchcraft is. You know what I'm saying? Idolatry. Look it up. We can put money over God. That can be considered an idol without us even realizing. We could put our cars over God. We could put our women over God. You know, um, people people are just so naive to what they think something means. Look it up and find what the real meaning of it is. Um, okay, so so those things tell you what not to do. And then right after that, it tells you what you should be doing. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace. Forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Self-control. This is what we're focusing on right now. This 40-day test, it has to do with self-control. When you get a thought in your head, if you can stop that thought, you can stop the the, the flesh from doing whatever. It's, it's just a mind thing. That's all it is.